Entering Grace Jones's world can be a scary experience. Wow. Pleased to meet you. This is, after all, a woman who eats chacho hosts for breakfast. Don't worry. I'm not going to eat you all. Grace Jones, a pleasure to be in your company. And yours as well. Thank you very much. Now, Hurricane, you're back with the new album. The reaction so far has been amazing. How, how are you feeling about it? I haven't really had time to digest all of that yet. Really? Because I, I already feel great about it to begin with. Hurricane, obviously, is a significant album for you because, you know, not only is it the first that's, that's been released in 19 years, mm -hmm. but now you're kind of writing on every song and you've, you've produced it as well, right? I, I co-produced. Co-produced. Yeah, yeah. It was a collaborative um, experiment. It's like having a baby, you know, you need some sperm. I've had one, I remember These that are bit. my babies and I couldn't... I didn't make these alone, you know. I love collaborating. You're well known as a collaborator and a muse as well. I'm an art groupie and I always like to hang out with artists. That's where I feel most comfortable. Mm. The word muse, I never call myself that. This is just a title that keeps being kind of... It's like a gift that's been given to me that finally I have to say, OK, I accept it, you know. The people I work with are also my muses. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what, we're, you know, we're muse... Uh, we so muse, we fuse muse. Grace's muses on the new album include musicians Sly and Robbie, Tricky and Brian Eno, plus graffiti artist Banksy, who came up with the idea to shoot her in a factory for the album artwork. For Grace, it seems it's all about the collaboration. It's an egoless process, in the sense that when you work with someone that you respect, that you choose to work with, you have to let allow that person to breathe, you know, you can't say, OK, I want to work with you, and then, you know, put your hands and strangle them at the same time. Grace's list of collaborators reads like a who's who of maverick artists. From Andy Warhol to Keith Haring, she has worked with some of the most interesting names of the 20th century. Her most memorable work was done with French filmmaker Jean-Paul Goud. Together, they created the striking Grace Jones aesthetic, androgynous, fabulous, and just a bit terrifying. Recently, she worked with music video auteur Chris Cunningham on a magazine shoot. I asked if he was nervous about working with an icon. I was more nervous about um, the fact that she'd put her trust in me to shoot her naked. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to, you know, just end Because it was naked in her pictures. flat in Putney. Yeah. Which is, it, it is, I mean, in Dazed and Confused it was published in and they did note that it was the actual shoot they, they felt had a, a feel of, like, readers' wives about it. <laughs> yeah. I'm a nudist at heart anyway. I always run around. I said to Chris that because he was, like, a little nervous about it. I said, no, I'm a, you know, I'm a, I'm a nudist, really. Actually, I do run around the house naked all the time. The photo shoot went so well, they've decided to collaborate again on an experimental video project, although neither of them are quite sure what lies at the end of their yellow brick road. It's completely different from having a start to finish kind of thing, which is OK, you know, you have your storyboard and you come in and you go, this is a shot, this is a shot, this is a shot, that's a story. That's great. Mm. But what's also fantastic is chasing the accident great, you know, because you don't know what you're going to get. The aspect of my work that I wanted to explore, which was working with an artist in, a, in this way, where it's not just like, here's a recording, can you put some pictures to it, which I've kind of got bored of doing. Mm -hmm. And it's very limiting. If, if you're interested in sound and music, it's quite limiting. It's like a cul-de-sac. So Grace Jones is back, and she's lost none of her appetite for experimenting or her ability to inspire other artists just don't call her an icon. It's kind of uncomfortable sometimes when titles kind of come out like that. I know I, you've, I went, you've, yeah, you, yeah. You, don't like, you don't like icon. No, I hate don't descriptions. Like, yeah. like it's not stuff that I, 
I keep in my in What my else mind do we hate? We hate icon, we hate Idol, legend, icon, idol. legend, uh, mamma mia, you know. <laughs> but have you had time to have a, a little victory moment about those 19 years of you know kind of Not yet. I'm having it. I'm having it just by promoting it. It's as if the music uh, was calling me. I didn't go after it. It came after me. For me, the victory of it is that, you know, it really all came out the way, the way I heard it. 